Good morning from BBC One. It's Wednesday the 30th of June and this is Breakfast. Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Dan Wangstein and Louise Minchin. As most of you will know, England beat Germany last night, leading to crazy scenes with no social distancing or mask wearing seen almost anywhere in the country. Us at the BBC would usually moan that this will kill granny, but given the rank hypocrisy us deleted fuck pigs have shown over the past year, not even we have the front to vilify most of the country and turn them against us quicker than Boris is already doing. So we will celebrate England winning despite the fact we all love Europe more so secretly wanted the Germans to win. But as you guessed with the football being our main story, the usual fear porn we have lived on for the past 464 days of 14 days to flatten the curve is missing like a fart in the wind. More and more members of the public are ignoring it and Boris Johnson keeps giving exemptions to his rich friends making more and more people question our bullshit so we will talk about the football instead. Never mind thousands of illegal boat wankers coming into the country every single week, football is number one when there's no fear porn to be had. We at the BBC certainly won't be telling you about £27 billion pounds worth of fraud this corona bullshit has added to the £50 billion pound it's already cost us in relation to fraud. You obviously don't want to know that this government has literally wanked your tax money down the toilet like Hancock was shooting his load into Gina Cock and Angelo before he got caught. Instead, we will focus on the football and ignore our lies, corruption and shit weasel behaviour of politicians and ministerial scumbags. The only Covid related story we have for you is about furlough winding down which really means unemployment growing because furlough was just there to keep you all quiet, you know until they'd finished their 460 odd day quest to fuck up the country. Us at the BBC won't point out that this will lead to massive job losses with many businesses still closed and the restrictions not ended until July 19th according to Kim Jong Boris. Of course that is unlikely to happen because Boris is full of shit as you know. Today there won't be no weather because I guess the weather woman has taken the day off, she didn't bother to tell us so we're just gonna cut straight to the transition. <laughs> 